obviously when we find that we have a patient that is COVID positive coming to our labs, we're going to start by coming to the back of the lab to apply our head protection on first. So firstly, we would place a scrub cap like I have on myself. And we get in one of our either FFP3 mask or an M3 mask, whichever one you've been fit tested for. You will also then need a pair of these goggles, a visor and a surgical hood. So my colleagues here are going to demonstrate how to put on the head protection uh, safely and effectively. Okay, Richard, away you go. Can you yep. put the kit on? and tie it at the back. No, no, sorry, cross it at the front and then tie it at the back. Like this, yeah? No, no, so just like this. And then tie it at the back. So you're getting a good seal around the bottom of your chin. And then boys are next. Um, so to adjust the visor, there's a little toggle at the back that you can push in and twist yeah. for it to tighten around your head comfortably. That's okay. perfect, so that's the first uh, member of colleagues okay. that have curtain PPM. Okay. So if one is on, okay, I'll take mine off. Yep. Okay, fantastic. I'll get the mask. I was I was fit tested, it didn't fit the other mask, so I have to have one of these. Yep. Calamar radiographer is going to uh, demonstrate how the non-operator non will put on the PPE. Away you go, Cal.
Callum does not need to be sterile, uh, but we don't have the yellow gowns at the moment, so we're using these gowns instead. So it's good while uh, we have to assist Callum by tying off the back of his gowns yes, around. Please, uh, please come on in, Emma, because it's a two person yes. job. Uh, we need a buddy to put on PPE safely. Because he's not sterile, he does not need sterile gloves. So at this point you want the glove up as high as possible to make sure there's a good cover between your hands and the ground. So ideally it would be a gauntlet. And so these gloves look fairly long, so they're a bit easier to make it to a gauntlet to get up to over here. Again, I will assist him by tying his gown up. Again, pulling your gloves as high up as possible for that to be more. Okay, that completes Callum's PPE. He's safe to go into the lab. So, Callum, if you go to the lab, Richard and I are going to get scrubbed. Cool. Oh, okay. Good. So, same process again. Richard. Let's try and do this as fast as possible. Sure. The primary anchor will have to be on the way. Richard being tied up, now I'm putting my sterile gown on. And you scrub before you put this gown on. Yeah. And so if you try and do a spin, perfect. Yeah. 
At this point, both uh, Iqbal and Richard are both safe to proceed into the lab to a potentially positive COVID patient. Okay, so we're ready to go, and uh, we'll obviously need the uh, uh, the physiologist yep. and the nurse uh, in a similar way with leads on and double gown, but not sterile. Yep. Okay, right. fantastic. Let's go to the lab. 